Hello everybody and welcome back to another discussion video. This is the first discussion video that I've done in a very long time because of certain reasons. But I am just coming off of watching a movie at the movie theaters. I am watching I watched the movie Unhinged but with uh, Russell Crowe. I want to say it was definitely a good movie. Um, I definitely enjoyed it a lot. It focused really so much about like the tensions of today's time period. Like it showed some real life events that happened in the world today, which was pretty interesting and kind of enjoyable to uh, watch in a sense. And Russell Crowe definitely did a pretty good job playing a psychopathic person in this film. Starts off with him kind of killing off a family right off the bat. Very, very intense. And then the main characters of the story um, kind of screwed him over. Well, not screwed him over, but pissed him off by honking at him. And, you know, a lot of people nowadays, like, if they get, you know, um, cut off by somebody or something, people get pretty road-raged and angry, so... He got angry about it and pretty much killed all the people that she knew. Almost killed her brother, but didn't. And um, in the end, he gets killed, Russell Crowe. So I don't want to spoil too much about it, but, you know, it was definitely a good movie. And I recommend watching it either in digital or in theaters, wherever you are. Now on to the main subject. Is movie theaters safe? Um, I didn't know what to expect going in. It was pretty interesting to um, see. It's been several months since I've been inside a movie theater. The last one I saw was in April when I saw Birds Birds of Prey with Holly Quinn. And I have to say right now at this time... It's probably the best time to kind of see movies, I guess. But I hint with the warning because I'm not trying to promote people to go into movie theaters. But in small cities where not that many people go to see movies, I think it's the best time to see it right now. Um, so I went into a movie theater. Um, one of the requirements is to wear a mask until, like, you're inside the theater or inside the auditorium where you're uh, sitting down and watching pop or eating popcorn and drinking sodas. Um, they kind of need to enforce that a little bit more. Uh, one of the movie theaters that hasn't opened yet thought of a policy where you can where there's an employee kind of going inside checking to make sure you are wearing masks properly and I think this theater should have done it and you know I people this is how I'm kind of not going to blame people in this I'm just going to say you know it's just listen to the rules I guess you know it's their business so I'm just going to leave that in, as is but it did feel pretty safe in a sense they did have every, one row blocked off so it goes by every other row so one row and then a, the next row is blocked off and so on and so on so that was kind of uh, interesting where in the movie theater when I went in to see the movie there were not that many people in there so it was not too bad it was like probably like eight people in the theater at least so it was kind of open so that way you could social distance and stuff so it was not it was pretty pretty good to see they have the entrance ways open so that way employee or you don't have to touch touch the doors to go inside which is pretty fine um they do have one-way exits i kind of didn't notice at first but then they provided you know would tell me that there's only a one-way exit so so that was fine um 
they did pretty decent with what it was. Um, I really do think they could have a little bit of improvements on things. I am curious what happens when new movies come out. Because the one that I unhinged is a current new movie, but it's not popularized where not that many people are going to go see it, I think. The one when things like Wonder Woman and Tenant comes out that I'm going to be very curious how many people go to see it, how many people are there, how many people follow the rules and stuff. So that's definitely going to be an interesting thing to find out, but right now I would say it's the best time to watch a movie if you feel safe and you feel like you know okay with go seeing one. I am going to be watching movies here and there from time to time. I'm, I follow the rules and be safe. There's going to be interesting moments if hopefully things, you know, hopefully things don't get better or don't get worse. I will say I do find it interesting that before we got into movie theater, we had to sign a form. That says, like, you know, if something happens, we'll contact you. And if you're, like, in that theater, you know, either quarantine yourself or something like that. Um, I do appreciate that in a sense. It was a little weird. But I, I understand what they were doing. Um, I just wonder how things will continue from here. I do like that they're going to be showing some retro movies right now before, you know, actual good new movies. Or let me for Nelly not say good because I don't know yet, but before new movies come out, which is kind of cool. I will probably see one here and there, but I'm not going to be going to the movie theaters every day. I never did before the pandemic, nor I'm going to do that now, but... It was pretty cool, I guess. It was something to see. And yeah, we'll see what happens in the future. So those are my thoughts on movie theaters and the movie Unhinged to see how it was and to kind of tell you guys about my experience in the movie theaters. I will be do doing more discussion videos as time goes on. So... um be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for gameplay videos again. Some uncommentary, some commentary. Commentary ones are going to be the games that I know I could discuss a lot. The non-commentary ones are just going to be sometimes multiplayer online games and such. So, yeah, those are going to be the next things that I see in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. So long, everybody.